All right, let's begin. We will use two of the double pointed needles for now. I'm using slightly smaller needles than the pattern says. Mine are 2.0, but it doesn't matter that much. So, since I will be making the smallest size of these socks, I will cast on 40 stitches. Okay, let's see if I count it correctly. and 40. Well, that's good. Removing one needle. And now I will net through all these stitches that I cast on. So far so good. Nothing new. So now we have 40 knitted stitches on the one needle. But we have many more knitting needles. So what we're going to do is we are going to divide these 40 stitches on four double pointed knitting needles. Which means every needle will get 10. So. One, two, three, four, come on, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we take the next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. One more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now, if I have calculated correctly, I should have ten left. All right, so what do we do with these? We make it all into one circle. Make sure you're not twisting uh, anything here, like between, between the needles. Um, Beginner knitters have much trouble connecting the two. So what I would suggest you do is you find the tail end that you're not using to knit, 
and try to hold on to it in your, uh, with your left hand's fingers while you start knitting the first few stitches. Or just put a finger here so that these two are kept close. Alternatively, you can take a crochet hook and pull it through here so that they are kept together closely. In any case, we take the fifth needle and now we start doing that's my cat playing with a paper bag. Uh, <laughs> now we start doing a rib stitch, which means we knit two and then purl the next two. And then we knit two and purl the next two. Until we have finished with the whole round. One. Knitted one, two, purled. Knitted one, two, purled one, two, knitted one, two, purled. And we finish the round with two purled. So, as you can see here, I also have this thread between the two uh, needles. What I can do is I can stretch this first stitch here and then stretch the second one and stretch the third one so I can hide this extra yarn by gently gently pulling on the stitches and changing the tension so that it more or less disappears. So I have finished one round, so I will mark this on my row counter. So you continue doing the same thing um, until you have knitted seven centimeters of rib stitch 
uh, or whatever the pattern says, if you're making socks for uh, someone who is older than one month. And you do exactly the same thing. You knit two and you purl two. And on every knitting needle you have 10 stitches. <laughs>